Okay, this is an interesting topic, and this has actually been a topic I've been wanting to talk about for a very long time. Would esports really, like esports gamers, would they really qualify as athletes? Like how we see from the Olympics, the NFL, the NBA, the World Cup, the UFC, professional boxing, and stuff like that. Would esports qualify for that? Physically? I'm going to say no. Not a chance. There's no way that it would be classified as athletes. Like, there's no way gamers would be classified as athletes like on that level even if they're professional and then a lot of people are going to hate me for that because they say well controls fighting games other stuff it's physically demanding on your hands and i agree it is but you're not getting brain damage like is it cte correct me if i'm wrong from stuff like concussions from like football rugby boxing you get the idea you're not going to get that playing video games you may get carpal tunnel and stuff like that on your hands but you're not getting like broken shoulders or any of that sort so there's no mistake and it is a mentally demanding gaming is mentally demanding there's no question about that i would put it in the same category as like how chess is because as you can see here they consider it like a mind sport where it's mental and intellect instead of the physical skills and the same could also even be said for a game like poker where me and you both know the stakes are high there's intense stress in poker because of the amount of money you can win and lose so as you can see right here it's a mental sport now let's compare how much training it goes to other sports average ufc stuff like two hours a day outside of a training camp and they do it like five to six times a week your average non-competitive person going to the gym they're gonna go for like three days out of the week so you can compare that to something like the ufc and you have to remember too ufc those guys are the highest level martial artists they're not gonna be just some dude who took a trial lesson but your point well why are we putting up a guy like this to esports well esports is supposed to be the best of the best in gaming right so we're gonna do the best of the best of other sports now we're on to the nfl american football how many hours a day do they train you can read that right there four to six hours per day and those guys they're gonna tackle you they're good sprinters they can take a beating and one of the main injuries in football is gonna be concussions and if they miss catching the ball you get the idea and they're always getting tackled and stuff if you're international i would compare it to rugby pro boxer this is not amateurs this is the pro level so they're not gonna be wearing all the gear either so three to five hours a day and five to six days a week like i told you earlier your average gym goer that's not like crazy is gonna just go three days a week so you can see it's bumping it up and if you watch rocky or you ever done any sort of martial arts crap you know that these guys that are boxers have good conditioning from all the running and stuff and football for my international audience and soccer for my americans what is it for the soccer so like 40 hours a week several months these guys no mistake and they run like crazy so all this endurance all this crazy training going in physically taking a toll on your body that's why we see also athletes from all these physically demanding sports they retire too because of injuries and stuff like that you're not going to really see that with video games so i'm going to clear that up right now you're not going to see that that's why i would compare esports and gaming to chess because we have professional chess players they are crazy smart and there's stress is just insane doing chess and it's one of the hardest things you can play and then we got poker where if you lose you just lost millions get it you lost the jackpot and it's mentally demanding too because you're stressed out because you got to fake what you have so other people can mess up and then you cash in you win the jackpot you get the idea that's just how card games work like that especially if we're talking gambling now i'm not knocking down professional players or organizations but i don't see esports getting the same traction and hype as something like the world cup the american super bowl the stanley cup of hockey boxing crab ufc the nba playoff crap whatever they call it in the nba i don't know what they call it in the nba but you get my idea like you're gonna have to compete with also their funding as far as like tv recording time and social media usage and there's no like regulating body for esports either and that crap that they did with the olympic games where they chose games to feature in the olympics those all suck because those aren't esports titles those are just video game versions of real life sports which makes zero sense because if you're gonna have esports in the olympics you would want competitive games to be the front of it you know not some random multiplayer game so that was a big fail in 
their end. Another thing too is that there's not enough hype behind these games. People are well, FaZe Clan, Optic Clan, The Hundred Thieves, you get the idea. Those teams. Yeah, but they're a minority. Like, they're not every other esports team. Those are like the best crap you're gonna get. But even then, the quantity is not there. And the following isn't there. Does that make sense? So it's kind of too niche. Whereas, it doesn't cater to a casual audience. Whereas, American football or international football, you get the idea. is like anyone watches it. Anyone tunes in to their events. They want to see the World Cup. They want to see the Super Bowl and stuff like that. You don't see that with esports. That's why I said it's not going to catch up. As of right now, it's not going to be on that level. Now, a disclaimer. How I would consider esports gamers actual athletes would be with VR, but not what you're thinking. They would need to make a version of a game where you could actually run and jump with VR in real life. That I would consider athletes because you're using your physical body and your mental gaming skills. So until they incorporate a physical aspect to it, I'm not considering esports gamers actual athletes. That's just my opinion. Thank you for watching.